Welcome back to the burning city that you all remember. Because this is war. And by burning city, I also mean burning factory. Because I have to go back here. Um, because I missed this. Like an idiot. Hey, it's stuck away. Is this the first time we're seeing him? That can't be right. It's the first time we're seeing him in, in Mega Man X. Hmm. Yeah, so oh, wait, he should be. Yeah, he's in the past. Yeah, so Doctor Light has died because um, and has left X certain capsules, um, that will give him upgrades. Don't ask me how they get where they are. Nobody knows. Um, they get delivered by um. Uh, I don't remember the name of the robot. Are you talking about Eddie? Yes. Well, I'm sure Eddie's dead too, but uh, I guess dead more like probably obsolete. Thus dead. That's very wonderful. I mean, you saw the plot of Mega Man 9, you know how these things work, and this is way far in the future. Yeah. That means Mega Man 11's a prequel. I mean... Not exactly... Okay, look. This game came out... Make Well, no, not this game specifically, but the original Mega Man X came out along with Mega Man 7. Oh, um, this is also the part where I realize my, my setup for controls is not working out at all. So I need to do, I need to try out different things. Um, but yes, the, the thing is that like these seven and then eight were released around these times. So we just consider them different series, um, but we know the timeline. It's all, it, um, as I said, it's all one timeline, except for, um, the Battle Network and Star Force series. Uh, so, Mega Man, then Mega Man X, and then ZX? Me Mega Man X, then Mega Man Zero, then Mega Man ZX, then Mega Man Legends. Oh, so that's Mega Man Legends in like the year 10,000. Yeah. And then Mega Man Legends 3 will come out in the actual year 10,000. Yep. Uh, you know what would be terrible? Because I was thinking about Mega Man Legends 2 earlier today actually. And it just reminded me of how terrible the voice acting for Mega Man was. Like, they just decided, hey, remember Mega Man 8? That was a trip. Let's do that again. You know, this conversation just reminded me of. We still don't know that that specific game Nintendo is rumored to have. That was specifically rumored to be a cancelled game that was revived for them. And the two main guesses was it, had. Wasn't that were, Metroid Dread? No, because it's like from another studio or something that they revived. And the two, and Metroid Dread just cancelled way earlier than the, the, the time frame I'm thinking of. I think people are thinking of. Um, and the two main ones were Scalebound, I think that's what it was called. The Platinum Games Dragon, Dragon Riding Game. That was supposed to come up on Xbox because Platinum is all buddy buddies Nintendo, so they won't have that. And the other one was Mega Man Legends 3. And I'm not sure which one's more likely, but I'm thinking, yeah, I haven't heard about that in a while. And I don't know if it, if it does exist or if it does exist and it's just come out of the news. Because like, Bayonetta 3 is has been shown, so it's like, yeah. Some things can take a long time to just come out, and the game doesn't look like it's suffered for the wait time. But it's just, it's just like, yeah, that still exists, I want to this. 
Well, the that was quite a design, because yeah, that looks like some beautiful clan move. Yeah. Um, the thing is that the current thing with Mega Man right now is, I believe, mobile, the mobile game Rockman Dive, um, which has normal Mega, um, Mega Man X slash Zero like gameplay, um, with different characters all throughout the Mega Man series. Even one that was technically a non-combatant, which was no one was expecting that one. Um, but yeah, so that's the that's the one, and it's a I think it's a gacha pull. Um, so you know how that's going. Probably making a lot of money right now to fund their next project, whatever it is. It does sound like something that could be fun. The thing is, well. Mega Man, that's Capcom, right? Just making sure. Yes. Yes. And that's also um, Capcom is also uh, Resident Evil. Yes. They have been killing it lately. Absolutely. There are they also. Who's Monster Hunter? I think that's also Capcom, but I'm not sure mm. about that one. Cap you could probably make the case that Capcom is the best game there right now. Uh, because yeah, when they, they were, that was a time. Yeah, they 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 are they, they clearly know what they're doing with all different, or at least the ones that aren't dead. They clearly know what they're doing. Yeah. Um. That being said, I do well. This is one of the points where I would just say, hey, I really, I really would just love X series back or X series in this sort of situation. Um, but like, this is a point where, of course, you know how games take forever to make because of the requirements. And so the fact that from that single studio is coming a lot of great stuff, great quality stuff and great looking stuff um, I just be like anybody who's like okay but what about this is like I don't think I don't think they quite get it yeah I understand wanting it I understand wanting a game but I don't understand thought there was something that. down there um, I don't understand saying that the, 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 the studio is falling short or not making it when they're putting out so much other great stuff. Yeah. It's like those people who say, man, Sora was a disappointment. It's like, no, are you are you nuts? That's very strange. Like, I've never played or care about, cared about Kingdom Hearts. To the point where I was almost not sure if I was saying it right. But Sora is still a huge deal. It's a very strange thing to not think of a huge deal. Like, I mean, I guess someone who's invested in... And I guess maybe that's the difference where... It's kind of hard to get invested in who's going to be outside of just being excited when you see it. But there's so many characters already. It feels weird to just be like upset at whoever's revealed if it's something interesting like if it's a pokemon character yeah i understand getting upset but even though even then there's so many characters who cares but it's, it's so new and interesting why what's, what's the point of being angry yeah um the only disappointment since... is that it wasn't jonesy from fortnite that would have been very funny I don't even know any characters from Fortnite, so why do you just sound so weird? What'd you just the say? Main the main the, the, the default skin. It's just re Honestly, if something good isn't going to happen, something funny should happen, and that's my philosophy. So, if Sora, Sora would be good, but Jonesy would be funny. And so, it's like, equal, equal for me, what I would have wanted to see. Ah, uh, the internet would have been on fire for that one. Yeah, that would have been great. 
You, yeah, oh, it says just because you love seeing destruction and people unhappy. No, when you put it like that, okay. If it's and if, if if people are unhappy for something silly, then it's funny. Uh, either way, just the thing is, once again, I love it. Um, but it's there are two things keeping me from being hype as everybody else, even though I am a Kingdom this Hearts is fan. Dumb. Um, one is, is this the... um, mechan as far as of mechanicals is the implication that real trees are all dead? No, 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 that's not until Mega Man Zero's apocalypse where most real trees are all dead. The Mega Man world seems like an awful place to No, that was, that was mostly, well, it's a complicated, re there's a complicated reason for that. Um, but I'll, but I'll forget my point if I get into that now. Um, so, the thing is, that I, there are two reasons why I'm not as hyped as everyone else. One, I still don't own the game, and I just see all my other friends play it, and talk about how cool it is in their matches, yeah, and it's like, oh man, setting up a match, you guys ready? Just like, I can't believe you did that, or how something something frames, or whatever, and I just have to sit there and be like, Wonderful that you're all having fun, I guess. I'll just be over here. Um, after all these years, and just even after... I, I, I thought that by the time the final character would have come out, I would have had it, but nope. So, here we are. But this, the second thing is that I still have to consider, even if I did have it, I'm not American, meaning I'm not made of money. These things cost money. Well, that's the thing where you have to think, would you get, because no one, I mean, there are people who are going to get every fighter's pass, and they ain't have too much, yes, but I would say, would I get the fighter's pass for a specific character? And that would be the tough choice, I and mean, probably the specific character, what, who, who else is in this fighter pass? Is that Minecraft Steve in this? I, Maybe so. I have no idea. I guess it depends on who else was in the pack. Hmm. Um, yeah, that but is that's true. the thing, for me, I just, I can't, I played so much Smash 4 that I just feel like, I, I think I've played enough Smash Bros, and so I don't really feel like I need. Of course, Mr. Rich Worldwide, I get it, but like, there's me, who had to borrow your stuff just to play, and then I had Brawl, and meanwhile, just like other than managing to play that with Lincoln, um, there's the thing where just like everyone has a hate boner for Brawl, and so even if no, I did, people. I mean, I guess at the time, but now everyone loves Brawl and hates Smash Four. Yeah. Well, either way, I still didn't have people to play with me at that at that point, which is why I um. Well, for reasons I obviously won't go into now, because that's personal, but it's... That that still was just whenever you guys had it, I'd have it, even though it was a, it, even though it was a game I really, really wanted. Yeah, and I, I guess by the time Smash 4 came around, I was included. But I do remember a brawl time when I, I maybe, maybe seven times. I just didn't, I wasn't able to play that often. So going back into Raw, I, it was just weird. It, was, it, it felt like something that's a big part of my life, but then I, wasn't, I just wasn't used to it. I mean, I invited you to play the Subspace Emissary for, for it, and you weren't really that jazzed up for it. Yeah, which I mean, I should play it, because I do know it's supposed to be really fun. It is. Maybe I should just go and try this very, very legally get that copy of Smash Bros. Brawl and then play the Subspace Emissary. Um, with me, that's the, the, the point. Oh yeah, I guess if I'm playing it with you, then I guess that. I mean, yeah, it's just going to be a lot less often. 
Plus, you'll have a, already have a million other things to occupy your time with. Um, so just having, so just having a plan like, oh, I'm gonna play this stuff with all these characters and experience all this with my friend. I guess like that's I, true. I, I do have enough things that I can just not play that and play the other things. Like Pokemon Wilds. He, by the way, when Pokemon Wilds is multiplayer, we need to play. Oh wait, you wouldn't like them because there's no goal. Okay, first off, Mr. Man, I'd like to point out that it's not that I hate games without any goal. I just don't play them for very long. Yeah. And I just... Emergent gameplay. Like when I saw, I'm in my face like just just today. I'm walking, I'm walking around. I am just exploring the island, and I see uh, an egg for a dragonite, and there are like four dragonites around me. And so I'm thinking, okay, I need to get one of these eggs. But I know if you pick up an egg near Pokemon parents, they will relentlessly chase you and they will usually be very powerful. What an awful concept. Yeah, perfect. It's a fantastic game. So I, I was just, so I'm just thinking about this. I need to walk back to my base because I, 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 my, my pack was full. And on the way back, I see an Alola and I say, okay, so I need to save space, save, space, save space for two eggs because I need that, that egg as well. And so I, I walk all the way back and I'm just going back exploring. And then I just run up to the beach and I quickly take up the Dragonite egg and I immediately start flying. And the fly above them when they can't catch me. It's fantastic. Game's great. But they're Dragonite. They yeah, really should be able to get you. That's the, the like I said, it's alpha, and the, there's something where um, flying is very overpowered. Like he can fly over everything, and it doesn't run out. And it's I do think it's too strong, and I need to find out that. Maybe in the Sigma version. Sigma, yeah, I don't. Yeah. It's a two-fold joke because you said Alpha and there's this meme about Sigma males. Oh, also, yeah. the, also this game, final, uh, this game's villain is named Sigma. Sigma males. Okay, I saw a video with Sigma males, like going through what a Sigma male is, and it was so embarrassing and so cringy that it was not funny. Uh, it was very, very sad. Which usually sounds like something you'd laugh at anyways. 